Assalamu alaikum, hello everybody. This is a new video about integer equation. Actually, this was an exercise of the final exam of National High School of Mathematics Algiers. A great mathematician said that we can understand hard idea, hard problems in mathematics if we can start by taking examples. When we take example, we can understand what is the trick and how we can deal with the problem. Actually, in this exercise, we can start by taking x equal 1, 0, dot 5 or 1, dot 4 and try examples. To have an idea, we can have this idea. As a solution, a proposed solution, this solution isn't unique. It is one of the possible solutions. Let us take the integer part of x equal to 4k, such that k belongs to z. This means that x is less than 4k plus 1 and grid or equal to 4k. So, x plus 1 over 2 is less than 4k plus 2 over 2 and the grid then or equal to 4k plus 1 over 2. This means this means that 2k plus 1 half is less than or equal to x plus 1 over 2 is strictly less than 2k plus, plus 1. When we take the integer part, if we take the integer part of this, this will be equal to 2k. And, and x plus 1 over 4 is greater than or equal to 4k plus 1 over 4 and strictly less than what? 4k plus 2 over 4 which is equivalent to 2k plus 1 over 4 less than or equal to x plus 2 uh, plus 1 sorry over over 4 a strictly less than a strictly less than 2k plus 1 half and in this case and in this case so here we have over 4, so we have just k, and here we have just k, because we divided by k. And in this case, the integer part is equal to k. For x plus 2 over 4 is less than 4k plus 4k plus plus uh, so what we have plus 1 plus 3 over 4 and this is greater than what 4k plus uh, plus 2 over 4 so this is equivalent to k plus 1 half less than or equal to x plus 2 over 4 as strictly less than k plus 3 over 4 and in this case the integer part of x plus 2 will be equal to k so if this verifies our equation it should be integer part plus integer part plus integer part means that 2k plus k plus k and this is equal to 4k, which is different of the integer part of x plus 1 means 
equals k plus 1. So this can not be a solution. Second, we will take for the integer part of x equal to 4k plus 1. Then the integer part of x equal to 4k plus 2. The integer part of x equal to 4k plus 3. If we take the integer part of, uh, of x equal to 4k plus k plus 4, this means that we are here. So we have periodicity. This is enough. In this case, in this case, and this case, we have no solution. For the same reason. Just the equation will not be exactly this one, but it will be different. So we have no solution. For this case, for this case, we will get solution. So let us let us trust just the last one. For the last one, this means that what? This means that x is between 4k plus 4k plus 4 and 4k plus 3. We will repeat this equation as we did with as we did here and we will get equality actually we will get 4k uh, 4k plus 4 equal to 4k plus 4 yeah this is the solution uh, 4k yeah 4k plus 4 equal to 4k plus 4 and this will be the solution so the solution of this equation is actually equal to so for, the, for, for this one we will get solution let us do it so in this case we get x plus 1 x plus 1 over 4 this is less than strictly less than 4k plus 4k plus 3 plus 4k plus 4 we are, we are here yeah 4k plus 4 over x plus 1 4k plus 5 over 2 and greater than or equal 4k plus 4 over 2. This means that 2k plus 2 is strictly less than or equal to 4. Less strictly or equal, strictly less than what? So 4k plus 5 over 2. And 5 over 2, this means what? This means 2.5. In this case, the integer part of x plus 4 is equal to 2k plus 2. This is equal to the integer part of x plus 1 over 4. For the second, the second case, what we have? We have x between 4k plus 3 and 4k plus 4. So let us try this one. When we try this one, we will get here uh, here, sorry, 2. Here we have, we divide by 2. So if we divide by 2, yeah, you, you, certainly, uh, you certainly understand. Since I get, I, I take just, just 2. Thank you and sorry. For this cell here, we have this one. Unfortunately, I repeat it for the second one. Uh, fortunately, not unfortunately. I have the chance to repeat it once again to to uh, detect my my typo error. So for this for over four, the integer part of of x plus one over four will be. Let us guess. We divide by four, so we will have k. So this is equal to k. 
and this will be equal to the k here because because we have by then k plus one so k plus one because we divide by four so we will get k plus one and here we have one and half it's okay and the integer part of x plus two divided by four it will by two so we add x plus two will be for k plus plus five and here for k plus six so here plus plus five and here plus six over four those of them those of, of them then then here we get sorry i lost my pen the integer part of x plus 2 over 4 is less than k plus uh, 2 6 over over 4 so we have 3 1 and 5 and Greet them or equal what we have here for k plus k over four. So the integer part of the integer part of this one will be will be the integer part of x plus two over over four is equal to four k plus one because here we have we have one plus one over four. If we will add that, we get we get what we get k plus one. We get k k plus one plus this uh, k we have here. So we have oh no, no, we have here k plus one. So k plus one plus the first one, the first one was 2k, the first one was 2k plus 2, plus k plus 1, plus k plus 1. Is it equal? This is equal to 4k plus 4, and which is equal to the integer part of x, which is 4k plus 3 plus 1. So we have equality and then the solution, the solution of this equation is equal to the union of 4k plus 4k plus 3, 4k plus 4, k belongs to z. This ends this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.